Spring Boot also has a command line interface, which lets you create Spring applications. So let's look at that in this video. You can search for the term Spring Boot CLI in a search engine, or you can follow the link that I'll provide in the video description to get to this page where this is like, it tells you what Spring Boot CLI is and how to use it. So it's basically a command line tool that can be used if you want to quickly prototype with Spring, as the description says. It lets you run groovy scripts. So that's probably the best use case for uh, Spring Boot CLI. Uh, it lets you create simple groovy scripts that you can run and those become full Spring Boot applications. This is not something that you typically use if you're managing an application, you know, all the way from development to production and you want to deploy it in a particular place. But as for quick prototyping, this is really useful. Uh, the way to install it is by either downloading these zip files and extracting it locally and then you can run the jar with the java-jar command or you have a couple of other options. You can use SDK man or you can use uh, Homebrew on OS X to install this program. But the idea is you're going to have to download it and install it either as a zip file or by using any of these package managers and you're going to have a command line utility that you can use. In this tutorial, I'm going to do the manual installation because this is something that will work for any operating system. So that's what I'm going to do. So what you do is follow the link in the description of this video or uh, you can just, you know, using the search engine, you can search for Spring Boot CLI. You're going to get this page and click on this .zip file to download and extract it. So once you've downloaded and extracted the zip file, go to that directory. And then here you can see there are a couple of executables. So one is the spring executable for uh, Linux and Mac and then you have the spring.bat for the Windows. So I can execute this by running it here and here you see it gives you a bunch of uh, help commands. It tells you what are the commands and a little bit of a description about what you need to use it for. Uh, the one thing that I'm going to try now is to use this thing called spring run. It lets you run a spring groovy script. Now, what is a spring groovy script? It's a script which you can use to actually bootstrap a complete spring boot application. Yes, you're not even creating a project. You have a complete spring application just by this one script file. I'm going to demonstrate that in this uh, in this video. But I, again, like I said, I wouldn't imagine you using it a lot in a real world scenario. It's more for demonstration. And frankly, it's a little bit gimmicky, but it is what it is. And I'll just demonstrate one such use for it. So let's say I want to create a simple Hello World REST API. So right now, uh, if you were to create a Spring Boot project, you would have to create a Maven project and then download it, or you have to go to Spring Initializer, download the zip file extracted and then build on top of it. But here's a shorter way for quick prototyping. I can create a simple groovy file. So I'll create a simple groovy file using nano um, app dot groovy. Any editor should do. Now here what I'm going to do is create that controller class. That's all I need to do. I don't have to create an application class here. There's going to be a groovy script, which is going to be just a controller class. So I'm going to have the annotation at rest controller, and then this is going to be a class. So a class in groovy has the keyword class and then followed by the name. So I'm going to say etrl app ctrl. And uh, here, and can create a method. So I'm gonna, I can have a method with the add request mapping and I'm gonna map this to the root URL and this method I'm gonna call string app and then this is going to just do a return of hello world. I don't have to have a return because Groovy does not need a return keyword. I just have to specify the string and that gets returned. So this is a simple Groovy script. Now I can save this. And uh, I have a Groovy file in my directory. Now I can run this by using the spring command that we already saw. Pass in run and then I pass in 
the name of the file, which is after Groovy. And when I do this, what Spring Boot is going to do is it's going to create a complete Spring Boot application just based off of that one Groovy class. So this has declared that as a controller. It's figured out that it's a controller, and it has published the slash uh, mapping to that root URL so that when I access this, I'm going to get the Hello World back. So let's verify that. Accessing localhost 8080 and here you see Hello World return. So this is a very good way to prototype simple Spring applications using Groovy scripts. Spring CLI also has a bunch of other options. You can actually create a project using command line arguments and it actually leverages what we already seen in Spring Initializer. So it kind of has the same framework underneath, it's just multiple ways of kind of leveraging that framework to create projects. So definitely check out Spring CLI if you're interested in this kind of a thing and uh, look at some of the other command line arguments that you can pass to Spring CLI to do a bunch more stuff with it.